All right, everybody, Titus Andronicus, Act 5, Scene 2, the penultimate scene where we're really getting into it now, where Titus starts to enact his blood revenge. And here's, remember the previous scenes when Tamora told Saturninus, you know, she was going to go uh, calm Titus down and kind of fool him. But here's Tamora. She and her sons disguise themselves. So Tamora disguised as revenge, the character of revenge, tells Titus she has come to his aid. She's there to help him, which is which is a lie, right? And that if he will invite Lucius to a feast, that's Titus's last remaining son, she will bring Tamora and Saturninus so that Titus can avenge himself on them. When she leaves, Titus insists that her companions uh, in disguises rape and murder Chiron, Chiron and Demetrius remain with him until her return so this whole time we see titus shooting those arrows acting kind of bonkers he was really just kind of uh waiting right and here's the revenge he cuts tamora's son's throats collects the blood which he will mix with their ground bones into a pastry for a pie to be served to tamora so he cuts up the sons and bakes them into a pie so here we go, Tamora. Uh, Thus in this strange and sad habiliment, I will encounter with Andronicus and say I am revenge. Sent from below to join with him and right his heinous wrongs. Knock at his study where they say he keeps to ruminate strange plots of dire revenge. Tell him revenge has come to join with him and work confusion, destruction on his enemies. They knock. Titus who doth molest my contemplation? Is it your trick to make me open the door, that so my sad decrees may fly away? Titus is an abject sadness here, and all my study to be to no effect. You are deceived for what I mean to do. See here in bloody lines I have set down, and what is written shall be executed. So he's plotting, right? He wants his he wants his revenge. Titus, I am come to talk with thee. No, not a word. How can I grace my talk, wanting a hand to give that accord? Thou has the odds of me, and therefore no more. If thou didst know me, thou wouldst talk with me. I am not mad, <laughs> right? Here, here is he saying, right? I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm not bonkers. I know thee well enough. Witness this wretched stump. <laughs> Witness these crimson lines. Witness these trenches made by grief and care. Witness the tiring day and heavy night. Witness all sorrow that I know thee well. For our proud empress, mighty Tamora. Is not thy coming for my other hand? You're Tamora, right? Tamora. Know thou, sad man, man, I am not Tamora. She is my enemy, thy enemy, and I thy friend. She is your enemy, and I thy friend. I am revenge, sent from the infernal kingdom to ease the gnawing vulture of the mine, by working wreakful vengeance on thy foes. Come down and welcome me to this world's light. Confer with me of murder and of death. There's not a hollow cave or lurking place. No vast obscurity or misty veil where bloody murder or detested rape can couch for fear, but I will find them out. And in their ears tell them my dreadful name, revenge which makes the foul offender quake. Titus, art thou revenge? And art thou sent to me to be a torment to mine enemies? I am, therefore, come down and welcome me. Do me some service, and I come to thee, lo, by the side where rape and murder stand. So there's Tamora's sons disguised in those characters now give some assurance that thou art revenge stab them or tear them on by chariot wheels and then i'll come and buy thy wagoneer and whirl along with thee about globes provide these two proper palfreys black as jet to hail thy vengeful wagon swift away and find out murder in their guilty caves and when thy car is loaden with their heads i will dismount and by thy wagon wheel trot like a servile footman all day long even from hyperion's rising in the east until his very downfall in the sea and day by day I'll do this heavy task. So thou destroy rapine and murder there. So destroy those two, all right? And I'll believe you, <laughs> Tamora. These are my ministers and come with me. Are them my ministers? Are they the ministers? What are they called? Rape and murder, therefore called so, because they take vengeance of such kind of men. So it's, it's, it's completely, right? They're dressed up and, and Tamora's like, yeah, these people are going to avenge them. But it's Titus sees what's going on here, right? He knows what's going on here. Uh, good Lord, how like the Emperor's sons they are. 
and you the empress. But we worldly men have miserable man mistaking eyes. O oh, sweet revenge, now do I come to thee. And if one arm's embracement will content thee, I will embrace thee in by and by. This closing with him fits his lunatic. She's like, uh, he's Titus is, you know, crazy, bonkers, right? That's what she thinks. But it's it's a ruse by by uh, Titus here. Whatever I forge to feed his brain sick humors, do you uphold and maintain in your speeches? For now he firmly takes me for revenge. And being credulous in this mad thought, I'll make him send for Lucius. Here's the plan. They want to get Lucius to sit down. Uh, and they want to they want to get, dispose the dispose of Lucius, right? Because that's who the people like, and that's who the people want as king, right? Uh, Titus, long have I been forlorn and all for thee. Welcome, dread fury, to my woeful house. Rape and murder, you are welcome to. How like the empress and her sons you are. You know, you look like Tamora and Chiron and Demetrius, right? You would be well fitted had you but Aaron with you. Cannot all hell afford you such a devil? For well I want the Empress never wags, but in her company there is a more, and wouldn't you represent our queen all right if you were convenient? You had such a devil. But welcome as you are. What shall we do? What are we going to do now? What wouldst thou have us do, Andronicus? Show me a murderer. I'll deal with him. He wants blood, right? Or Demetrius there. Show me, which is false, right? Show me a villain that had done a rape, and I am sent to revenge on him. Show me a thousand that has done thee wrong, and I will be avenged on these. Titus. To Demet Look round about the wicked streets of Rome, and when thou find a man like likest thyself that looks like you, Demetrius, stab him, right? He's a murderer. Go thou with him, and when is thy hap to find another that is like to thee? Good rape, rapine, stab of me as a ravisher. If you find your people who look like you, kill them. Uh, there is a queen, well shall, shall not do by her own proportion, for up and down she doth resemble thee. I pray thee, do on some violent death. They have been violent to me and mine, Tamora, Chiron, and Demetrius. Well, hast thou lessened us, this shall we do. Would it please thee, good Andronicus, to send, you know, send for your son Lucius, the thrice valiant son, who leads towards Rome a band of warlike Goths, and bid him come and banquet at the house. So this is the ending banquet they're trying to set it all up for. When he is here, even at thy solemn feast, I will bring in the empress and her sons, the emperor himself, and all thy foes, and at the mercy shall they stoop and kneel, and on them shalt thou ease the angry heart. What says Andronicus to this advice? Marcus, my brother, to sad Titus calls. Here comes Marcus. Go, gentle Marcus, to thy nephew Lucius. Thou shalt inquire him a mile among the Goths. Bid him repair to me, and bring with him some of the chiefest princes of the Goths. Bid him encamp his soldiers where they are. Tell him the emperor and the empress too feast at my house, and he shall feast with them. This thou do for my love, and so let him, and he regards the aged father's life. This I will, so send for Lucius. Titus is like, okay, I'll send for my son. This I will do. Now will I hence about that business and take my ministers along with me. And this is great here, right? Titus, nay, 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 no, no. Let rape and murder stay with me, or else I'll call my brother back again and cleave to no revenge but Lucius, or I'll, I'll call the whole thing off. And Tamora aside to her sons. <laughs> What do you say, boys? Will you abide with him? Will I go to tell my lord emperor how I have governed or de our determined jests? Tamora thinks they fooled Titus here, right? Yield to his humor, smooth and speak and fair, and tarry with him till our return. Titus, and this, this shows, this moment right here, shows that Titus was never really uh, bonkers or mad. I knew them all. They supposed me mad, and will overreach them in their own devices, a pair of cursed hellhounds, and their dames. So Titus, this is this is great coming up here, right? Madam, depart at pleasure, leave us here. Farewell, Andronicus, revenge now goes to lay a complot to betray thy foes. I know you I know thou dost, and sweet revenge, farewell. Tell us, old man, how shall we be employed? Tut, I have work enough for you to do. Publius, come hither, Caius and Valentine. What is your will? Know you these two? Publius. Yeah, they're the Empress's sons, Chiron and Demetrius. So again, Chiron, Demetrius, Tamor, they thought Titus was mad and they were going to fool him, but it was not, right? And it, here's what Titus is going to do. Fie, thou art too much deceived. This one is murder and rape, the other's name, and therefore bind them, gentle Plubius. So Titus is going along with it, though, right? Lay hands on them. Of have you heard me wish for such an hour? But they are rape and murder, right? Because this is what they did to Bassianus. Uh, and also Lavinia, <laughs> bind them, lay hands on them. 
oft have you heard me wish for such an hour, and now I find it. <laughs> right? This is, therefore, bind them sure and stop their mouths if they begin to cry. Villains, forbear, we are the emperor's sons. And he just gives it away there, right? And therefore, do what we are commanded. Stop, close their mouths. Let them not speak a word. Is he sure bound? Look that you bind them fast. Here comes Titus, and here comes Lavinia. All right, Lavinia is going to help Titus is out. And here's Titus's speech, right? Revenge speech. Come, come, Lavinia. Look, thy foes are bound. Sirs, stop their mouths. Let them not speak to me, but let them hear what fearful words are utter. O villains, Chiron and Demetrius, here stands the spring who you, whom you have stained with mud. That's Lavinia, right? This goodly summer with your winter mixed, you killed her husband. You killed Bastion. And for that vile fault, two of her brothers were condemned to death. This is what you've done. This is the play, right? And here's Titus's revenge. Both her sweet hands, her tongue, and that more dear than hands or tongue, her spotless chastity, inhuman traitors, you constrained in force. What would you say if I should let you speak? Right, what would you say? Villains for shame, you could not beg for grace. Again, there's that notion of begging, but there's no begging. Titus has got, you know, this is, here comes the revenge, right? There's no begging for grace. Hark, wretches, how I mean to martyr you. This one hand is yet, is left to cut your throats. Wow, that Lavinia between her stumps doth hold the basin that receives your guilty blood. You know your mother means to feast with me and calls herself revenge and thinks me mad. You know, I'm not mad. I knew this the whole time. Hark, villains, I will grind your bones to dust. Right? This is what he's telling me he's going to do. And with your blood, I'll make a paste, and of the paste, a, pie, a coffin of pie crust. I will rear and make two pastries of your shameful heads, and bid that strumpet, your unhallowed dam, like to the earth, swallow her own increase, and your mom's going to eat you. Right? That strumpet's to more. Your mom's going to eat you. Uh Swallow, this is the feast that I have bitter to, and this the bank banquet she shall surfeit on. Far worse than Philomel, you use my daughter, right? Uh, and worse than Progni, I will be revenged. And now prepare your throats. Lavinia, come receive the blood. And when they are dead, let me go grind their bones to powder small. And with this hateful liquor temper it, and in that pace, let their vile heads be baked. He's, you know, this is brutal here, right? Come, come, be everyone officious to make this banquet, which I wish may prove more stern and bloody than the centaur's feast. And he cuts their throats. So now bring them in, for I'll play the cook and see them ready against their mother's come. Their mother comes. So there it is. Titus's revenge speech on the play. He's enacting this revenge here. He's cutting up the sons grinds their bone to dust, and with their heads, he's baking it into a pie, and he's going to feed it to Tamora. So there's the bloody, the blood, the revenge that Titus is enacting for all the wrongs that have been done to him.